Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Military machines must be able to operate at extreme temperature ranges in wet and dry conditions. To reach this stage, they pass through a phase of testing at McKinley Climatic Laboratory. Today, we show you inside the U.S.'s coldest laboratory, where massive helicopters are tested at extremely cold temperatures. McKinley Climatic Laboratory, established in 1947, is a facility for evaluating the effects of harsh weather on aircraft, weapon systems, and other military equipment. The laboratory assesses performance in heat, cold, humidity, and other environmental conditions, providing critical data for the defense and aerospace industries. Aircraft and watercraft like the landing craft air cushion are placed on its test stand, and a test of climate-controlled tests are run on the craft. For example, the engineers can run freezing cold conditions at minus 10 degrees with rain. The test can then be repeated in conditions similar to the extreme heat of East African deserts. Most aircraft developed in the USA, NATO, and other allied nations end up at McKinley Climatic Laboratory for testing. The F-35 Lightning II was not reported as operational until it had passed all tests at McKinley. F-35s were placed on test stands 12 feet from the ground and were subjected to relentless simulated climatic conditions. Other innovative testing includes covering UAV, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, aircraft like the MQ-9 Reaper in the show, and then timing how long it takes the ground crew to remove the snow and prepare the aircraft for flight. This is where having a controlled testing environment comes in handy, instead of waiting for it to snow somewhere else. We can simulate uh, all type of environments from minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 165 degrees. Uh, solar loading, snow, as you can see today, freezing rain, rain, sand, dust, pretty much anything Mother Nature can throw at you. A commercial A350 XWB is the first Airbus airliner to undergo adverse weather testing at the United States Air Force's McKinley Climatic Laboratory in Florida. The company's MSN-2 developmental aircraft was subjected to a temperature range of 45 degrees Celsius to negative 40 degrees Celsius to evaluate several aircraft systems, including in-flight entertainment, air conditioning, galley, water, and waste systems. A combat search and rescue helicopter like the HH-60W Jolly Green II needs to operate in extremely diverse climates to save downed airmen and special forces under any conditions. That is where McKinley once again comes in, making sure this lifeline can get to stranded air crews under any type of condition. From McKinley, the guides for maintaining and operating aircraft in extreme conditions are written. In this way, maintenance teams know which parts of the helicopter are most likely to be influenced by adverse weather, and they can be checked by the maintenance teams before flights. Armed with this knowledge, U.S. military aircraft take to the skies, knowing what to expect with regard to the natural environment.
Airmen from the Rescue Generation Squadron methodically install new skis on the HH-60W helicopter as part of a lengthy testing procedure. This endeavor entails analyzing and altering the modifications needed to firmly attach the skis while ensuring they align with the aircraft's landing gear. To handle landing on softer terrains, the team takes accurate measurements and assessments, looking at issues like weight distribution and ski alignment. The testing step comprises simulated scenarios to examine performance under various settings. It allows it to land effectively on a variety of surfaces while remaining stable and functioning. Rescue operations in the Arctic require sophisticated coordination and specialized expertise to overcome the problems provided by extreme weather. Personnel, such as Alaska Air National Guardsmen, participate in training missions to improve readiness for real-world emergencies. Pararescue jumpers are often deployed from aircraft, such as the HC-130 Combat King, at high altitudes using parachute techniques like High Altitude High Opening or High Altitude Low Opening. Once on the ground, teams cross difficult terrain to reach pickup points where helicopters such as the Pavehawk or Jolly Green 2s facilitate transfer and evacuation by employing techniques such as hoisting procedures. Operating in Arctic circumstances poses unique obstacles for helicopters like the CH-47 Chinook, necessitating precise preparation. Their pre-flight routines begin far before the flight crew set foot on the ice tarmac. Given the difficult conditions, Rigorous inspections are critical. <laughs> the aircrew begins by inspecting all key systems to ensure that the helicopter's dual engines are operating properly. Cold temperatures have a significant impact on engine performance, so they give special attention to the auxiliary power unit and heating systems. One outstanding characteristic of Arctic operations is the Chinook's ability to operate in tandem rotor configuration, which provides unrivaled stability and lift capability at high altitudes. This design is critical because it enables us to maintain control in turbulent winds and thin air, which are prevalent in the Arctic. The tandem rotors offer the necessary lift without losing agility, allowing for efficient travel over uneven and sometimes unpredictable Arctic terrain. In these cold temperatures, the Chinook is outfitted with specialized skis for landing operations. These skis are specifically intended to distribute the helicopter's weight equally across snow and ice, preventing it from sinking into softer terrain while still providing a secure landing platform. Before takeoff, the aircrew confirm that the ski attachment mechanisms are secure and functional, as they are crucial for safe landings and takeoffs on icy fields.
The CH-47 Chinook's sturdy construction and adaptability make it ideal for Arctic operations. Its heavy lift capabilities enable the transportation of troops, equipment, and supplies, which is a normal part of Arctic missions that frequently include rescue operations or supply drops to isolated places. The capacious cabin can be modified to carry huge payloads or for medical evacuations, making it ideal for various mission profiles. Once airborne, the Chinook's powerful avionics and navigation systems shine as they guide the aircrew through the Arctic's sometimes featureless white expanses. They rely on GPS and other advanced technologies to stay on course, as visible landmarks are few and far between. Throughout the flight, Regular communication with the cockpit and other crew members guarantees that even if weather conditions change suddenly, they are prepared to adapt and respond fast. Despite the hard conditions, flying the CH-47 Chinook in the Arctic is quite satisfying, according to their air crews. Its design and engineering withstand extreme cold and high altitudes, providing the durability and efficiency required in some of the world's most demanding settings. Some of the oldest civilizations are Nordic, and they have established countries ranging from the Faroe Islands to Finland. Because these places are so cold, they have complicated ports that require pilotage. This is the scary technique maritime pilots use to board ships moving on polar ice. Ports worldwide that face icy conditions must adjust to maintain safe navigation and operating efficiency throughout the winter months. Ports in Finland's northern regions experience particularly difficult ice conditions due to their location on the Baltic Sea. Helsinki is one of the busiest because of its far eastern location on the Baltic Sea and dangerous because of its shallow waterways and numerous small islands. Icebreakers are used at Finnish ports to keep shipping routes open, and pilots play an important role in maneuvering vessels through these freezing waters. Pilotage ensures that ships can safely transit ice-covered waters, which is critical for preserving commerce flow and connectivity. In Finland, Pilotage is essential for maritime safety, especially in the frigid waters. Finnish pilots, called Lutsi, offer skilled navigation help and advice to shipmasters, guaranteeing safe passage across the complicated, ice-prone Finnish archipelago. This service is particularly important for vessels transporting dangerous or oversized cargo. Finpilot Pilotage Oi, a state-owned company, manages pilot activities and ensures communication between management and pilot teams. Innovations like EC Pilotage improve efficiency through data-driven techniques. Furthermore, hydrocopters enable pilot transfers across difficult ice conditions, underlining versatility. In other words, pilotage mitigates risks, preventing potential accidents or environmental damage.
One of the most impressive sights one can see is how these pilots board massive vessels. Pilots board large vessels, utilizing a sophisticated operation that frequently includes a ramp and a hydrocopter, particularly in freezing circumstances. From Arctic skies to icy seas, the ability to operate reliably in extreme environments is critical for modern military and maritime operations. Facilities like the McKinley Climatic Laboratory ensure that aircraft are rigorously tested against the most punishing conditions nature can offer. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.